Dream time, which turned to a nightmare that has turned into a nightmare. So, I guess Antifa or Black Lives Matter, one of those hate groups, started a fire in Washington and um, forest fire in Washington. And uh, where I'm living yesterday morning. Yesterday morning it got started, I guess. I was at the store today and they were telling me, they were, I was asking where all the smoke is coming from. I thought it was just up up the mountain somewhere. But, uh, but I know, I guess it was Antifa or Black Lives Matter, one of those hate groups that started a fire in Washington. Like I've said before, I'm only 12 kilometers away from Washington. And... Uh, The first major city would probably be, um, I haven't been over there in a while, but uh, Bellingham? I think it's only like two hours away, Bellingham. And Spokane is an hour and a half, so maybe two, no, it's about an hour and a half to Spokane, Washington. And then there's a bunch of little towns in between. But, um, but anyways, so Black Lives Matter or Antifa started a forest fire. Ah, damn cats. But, um, yeah, so, you know, people always ask me why I care so much about the United States and what's going on down there. Because now, I look outside and it's completely gray, actually yellow, from all the smoke. And they're burning down houses and shit. Burning down businesses and everything, just 12 miles away. 12 kilometers away. So, I don't know if it was 12 kilometers away, but the smoke's coming from the United States, and uh, they're saying that it was Black Lives Matter or Antifa started forest fire. So there you go. There you go. That's it's pretty close to home. And uh, and I live in a river valley, so the smoke just billows in here, and it's and it just lingers here. Like we'll just linger here for days and days now. People are getting upset because they can't breathe. But, um, we can't breathe. Loss of common sense. The loss of spirit and common sense. All this madness that's happening right now. I don't know. It's like the dream time turned into a nightmare.
It's like it's like I gotta go somewhere far away from this land. It's like I gotta go somewhere far away from this land and turn and sun. No, nah, man, this is this is getting ridiculous. Um, all this violence that's happening right now in the States. They don't talk about the rape that's happening. And you know what's really sad is that uh, a lot of these young girls are being raped. A lot of these young girls are being raped. But they won't say nothing about it because of racism. Yeah, you know, and it's really sad actually. You know what's happening, you know, when you get into that hive mind and that, and that group think, you know, especially when they dehumanize, when you dehumanize people, you know, the wickedness of men knows, knows no bounds. But yeah, they talk about the violence and the shootings and the people getting murdered and, um, uh, they talk about the violence and the murders, but they don't talk about the rape. Because a lot, a lot of women, they won't even go, they won't even go and tell the cops because of racism or because of their own shame. I don't know. It's really sad, and uh, it's really sad. And uh, you know what's happening. You know. These useful idiots say uh, they are so unaware of what they're doing right now. You know, they they think they're starting a revolution. They're doing nothing but bringing in chaos. A lot of people are going to get hurt. A lot of people have already been hurt. And in, in Canada, it's not so big of a deal right now. Like, it's happening in major cities, but... But... Uh, Black Lives Matter. It's a racist hate group. Marxist racist hate group. And Antifa. Another Marxist racist hate group. Could you imagine if neo-Nazis went and, and started protesting like the way Black Lives Matter does? They'd be shut down tomorrow. They wouldn't they wouldn't even they wouldn't even last. They'd be shut down, taken care of within an hour. But we're meant to believe that Black Lives Matter, right? You know, the idea of Black Lives Matter is is okay. But it's not about Black Lives Matter because if it was about Black Lives Matter, then all the black people that are getting killed, all the black police officers that are being killed, all the black business owners that are being killed and, and burnt their businesses down, has nothing to do with race. It's everything to do with chaos and unrest. <clears throat> it's it's ridiculous. It's goddamn ridiculous. All lives matter. And but but now you can't even say that on Twitter or whatever. All lives matter. Like you know, all lives matter. Like why is that even? Why is that being censored? All lives do matter. You know. But because, because you're being sponsored by the globalist agenda, you can say and be racist and dehumanize, rape, murder, pillage. All in the names of Black Lives Matter. Oh, man, we need to wake up, man. 
this chaos is spewing over into my own lands, 12 miles away, 12 kilometers away. <clears throat> you know, when does it end? When does the nightmare end? The demon rats would rather say, well, if you vote for Joe Biden, the, uh, the violence will end. And if you actually do any research, you realize that Black Lives Matter and uh, Antifa, they all are sponsored by the Democrat Party of the United States of America. It's, um, it's a well-known fact. It's not about left and right. It's not about conservative or liberal. It's not about Republican or Democrat. It's about good and evil. I've said it before in many videos. It seems like I've been talking about it for over a year now. But, um, But yeah, no, uh, the Great Awakening is coming. The dream time is coming to an end. The dream time is coming to an end. You know, we either have to choose light or dark. We have to choose to be free or to be a slave. And the choice is clear for me. And... Uh, and the awakening is coming. Things are aligning in the universe right now. Like planets are aligning. And, uh, and the winter solstice is coming. And uh, it's going to be a great, great shift. Like nothing we've ever seen before. It's an exciting time to be alive, really, when you think about it. It's also nightmarish be alive right now because you know things are happening and there's not much we can do about it because the violence is just going to get worse if we let it persist right like black lives matter is a racist hate group they're not your friends Antifa, useful idiots. You know, I I wish that people would just see them who for who they are. And you got all the NFL and all the Major League Baseball and all the major sports in the world, even Major League Soccer. You know, bowing the knee to Black Lives Matter. The slogan I understand, all right? People shouldn't be murdered, but um, but when you make up only 13% of the population and commit 90% of the crime and 75% of the violent crime, black lives don't matter. All lives matter. When you have Planned Parenthood opening up shop in... Uh, POC's neighborhoods, just an abortion alone, blacks make up, blacks make up like over 80% of abortions. And that's why Planned Parenthood opens shop in like uh, black communities because their major, their major contributors are, um, are women of color. So if black, lives, if black lives truly mattered, then why wouldn't they be protesting in front of a, a Planned Parenthood clinic, right? Because it's not about, it's not about race or anything. It's all about control, manipulation, guilt, and division.
divide and conquer. Because I know united we stand, divided we fall. And they're radicalizing people all over the world. They're radicalizing uh, blacks. They're creating a race war. And then you have all these awful companies, awful corporations supporting Black Lives Matter. Do they even know what Black Lives Matter stands for? It's all sloganeering, right? It's all fucking bullshit. All lives matter. All lives matter. And there comes a time when you just gotta stand up and fight against this tyranny. I don't know, man. If you think I'm full of shit, just go. Everybody knows what Black Lives Matter is. If you do any kind of, if you open your eyes, you'll know that they're a Marxist hate group. And their whole purpose is to create division and divide and conquer. That is to destroy the Western world. Bought and paid for by the Democratic Party of the United States of America and George Soros and the world, I mean, you know, the globalist agenda. You know, same with Antifa, exactly the same. They're exactly the same. They're exactly the same racist hate groups. Could you imagine if the KKK or the neo-Nazis went and started spewing the garbage that Black Lives Matter spews? They'd be shut down within an hour. But if you know the rhetoric of Black Lives Matter, and you know the rhetoric of the KKK and neo-Nazis, it's almost identical. And just, just for the record, the Democratic Party supported the KKK for many years. Actually, the, the KKK was a Democratic establishment. Democratic Party of the United States of America. The KKK was sponsored and bought and paid for by the Democratic Party of the United States of America. Now they're supporting Black Lives Matter to fuel the hate, to fuel the division, divide and conquer, because they know united we stand. <sighs> Things are gonna get a lot worse. Things are happening. I've been talking about this for over a year now, probably. And, um, you know, I'm having a real hard time being uplifted. It's like my spirit is suffering a great deal of emotional, emotional things. I can barely play the guitar anymore. I can barely, I can barely laugh anymore. It's like, I, I see the madness that's happening around the world. I see the chaos. I see, I see the death of nations. I see women being raped and murdered and I see young boys and young children being murdered like there was that guy nobody even talked about it nobody even mentioned it on the mainstream the lamestream media some black guy went up to a freaking white kid five years old and shot him in right in the face like no you can't talk about that you can't talk about that that police officer that got shot a retired police officer that got shot in uh, Minneapolis for uh, for helping his helping his uh, neighbor's business. He got murdered in cold blood, and he was a black man. You know, and uh, Black Lives Matter. Like, you got to really look at that and how freaking ridiculous and satanic they are. 
it's an awful, awful organization. And why are they supporting it? Why are the powers that be supporting it? It's, it's not acceptable. Like the Great Awakening is coming. That's one thing to look forward to, I guess. The shift is coming. You know, the alignment of the planets is coming. And um, the brew is coming. But it's a great time of darkness right now. And it's really, really hard. The loss of spirit and common sense. We have to fight. I'm tired. You know, I, I really just want to be happy again. I want to not worry about the future. And then all this lockdown bullshit and all this COVID bullshit. Like, come on, man. The world is coming. Like, you know, the world is, is in chaos right now. Maybe it's because uh, we're in Mars. I don't know. But... Uh, but, uh, you yeah, know, it's the demons of man are, are, are letting themselves be known. Um, they've exposed themselves. They have, they have stepped into the light. And now they're consuming it. And, um, and all these agents of evil, like Hillary Clinton, she just came out the other day, I didn't, I didn't actually watch what she was had to say, but Hillary Clinton came out of her freaking hidey hole just not too long ago, like yesterday, made some freaking interview on some legacy media, lamestream media group, you know, spewing her lies, her forked tongue. Everything that woman says is a lie, you know. She's a demon. She's a satanic high priestess. Her and Bill Clinton both are, are evil. Evil, evil people. I remember when fucking Bill Clinton was, was uh, President of the United States. Everybody loved him. Everybody loved Bill Clinton. He was cool, you know, our relationships with the United States had, was pretty good with uh, John Chrétien. You know, they seemed to get along really well. And uh, and everybody loved Bill Clinton. Everybody did. And, you know, and then he gets uh, caught with his pants down, literally. But that was a time, way different time than now. Nowadays, they would just, like, Say, oh yeah, whatever, Bill Clinton. We love you. Blah blah blah. You don't get, you won't get impeached for uh, getting caught with your pants down. Um, because that's how how much our morals have shifted from from you know absolutely disgraced because he got caught with his pants down to like, oh, it's okay, Bill. You know, we all do the same thing. You know, it's 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 a real. It's a real, I've been on this planet for four decades, right? A little over four decades. And, uh, and I've seen a lot of things happen. I've seen a lot of changes. And right now what I see is, is death and destruction, chaos and unrest. The loss of spirit. The loss of morals. The loss of understanding and truth. Now what is true is a lie, and what is a lie is the truth. You know, what is ugly is beautiful. It's, um, it's a real messed up world, man. And we mustn't allow it to continue. Free-thinking people need to step up, you know. Free-thinking people need to step up and understand that things are changing, and uh, they're changing for the worst. If we keep on allowing this darkness into our hearts, it's it's uh, it's just gonna it's just gonna permeate, and it's just gonna get worse. It's gonna get to the point where where you know we're gonna have rights for pedophiles. You know they're pushing all this pedophilia now, like trying to normalize it. Like what kind of world are we living in right now when they're normalizing? the victimization of children. 
and women. In the same hand, trying to empower them, like, it's ridiculous. Just some food for thought. Thank you, and, you know, leave a comment if you feel like it.